This video is sponsored by Magic Spoon. Cereal was one of the best parts of being a kid, but as an adult I gave it up because I realized it was full of sugar and junk that wasn't good for me. I've cut down on carbs and sugar, but I still love snacking on cereal. So thankfully, Magic Spoon is here. It's cereal reinvented. Magic Spoon cereals have zero grams of sugar, 13 to 14 grams of protein, and four to five net grams of carbs in each serving. There are only 140 calories per serving. Magic Spoon cereal bars have one gram of sugar, 10 grams of protein, four net grams of carbs, and only 130 calories per bar. They're all keto-friendly, gluten-free, grain-free, and soy-free. The flavors are great. I'm eating one of my favorites, peanut butter, but there are also the original bestsellers, cocoa, fruity, and frosted, plus ones like cinnamon roll and blueberry muffin. And Magic Spoon has other tasty flavors, like maple waffle and birthday cake. Magic Spoon is delicious and tastes just like the cereal from our childhoods, but is great for those who are carb conscious. Click the link below to get some Magic Spoon cereal today. You can build your very own variety box and use my code CONTRY for $5 off. You can choose from the best-selling cocoa, fruity frosted, peanut butter, birthday cake, and so many more. Magic Spoon is also always launching limited edition flavors. This month, they're introducing the perfect pairing for milk, oatmeal cookie, and chocolate chip cookie. Since these flavors are only available for a limited time, make sure to add them to your variety box before they're gone. Magic Spoon is so confident in their product that it's backed with a 100% happiness guarantee. So if you don't like it for any reason, they'll refund your money, no questions asked. And for the Canadian and British cereal fans, Magic Spoon also ships to Canada and the UK. So click the link below or scan the QR code on the screen and use code CONTRY, C-O-N-T-R-I, or go to magicspoon.com slash country to save $5 off your order today. And be sure to add the limited edition oatmeal cookie and chocolate chip cookie to your order. And don't forget to keep an eye out for any future flavor launches. Get yourself some Magic Spoon today! His name is Pat, and he buys crap every Saturday and Sunday, you'll know where he's at. Take a guess, it's Flea Market Madness. Oh yes, it's Flea Market Madness. And me, Frank. It's an overcast Flea Market Madness today, but let's hope for some sunny finds. Some old ass Barbie dolls. I'll leave these for Patricia the Barbie Punkette. Here's an OG Xbox. How much is the Xbox? Will this finally be the day I buy one? Uh, 30 bucks. 30? With the controllers? Or controller? Uh, no, it's just the Xbox. Okay. Well, how much for the controller then? 25. What? The controller isn't included? You're killing me! The curse continues. What about these guys? That's 35. 35. These Atari paddles in the box interest me, but not for 35. This is a 1990s G.I. Joe footlocker to store figures. What about this? Uh, that one is $40. 40. Okay. That's a lot. Good lord, these are around 10 bucks on eBay. Uh, it's looking like one of those sort of days here. Hanging out if I go to work. Anything cool? Uh, 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 uh. Oh, wow. How much do you have in the arcade machine? I must have made for the worst. You said eight, 800? Yeah. Uh, it's a little pricey for me. That's awesome, though. Oh, yeah. uh, Black oh, Tiger. Yeah. Voice looks pretty good. Oh, yeah. I played it. Wow. Uh, the screen is kind of like. It's, 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 yeah, a lot of like, times you have to have the. Uh, you gotta have it recapped. But if you get one, it's completely. It's like $5,000. Sure, new and modern arcade machines could cost $5,000, but never a black sure. tiger in any condition. All right, cool. They don't see these often. Cool. No. Thanks. Uh, this, I think, is one of the most rare that they make. Yeah? Okay, dude. You're making stuff up. I'm not saying Black Tiger is a common arcade game, sure. but it is definitely Thank not you. one of the most rare. Yeah, the rare Black Tiger. How much are you asking on the uh, G.I. Joes here? 15 bucks. 15 each? I do have several 1960s and 70s G.I. Joes somewhere in my garage. This guy looks familiar, but I don't know who he is. Some Star Trek fans sure would enjoy this stuff, just like they would enjoy Khan the Musical, now playing off-Broadway in New York City until June 4th.
Here's a 1938 Lone Ranger board game that's in bad shape and not nearly complete. $50 is more than what complete ones are going for on eBay. Oh, who could forget that classic show, Ben Casey, MD. I'm sure there's a few TV historians out there yelling at me for making fun of it. I had electric football when I was a kid, but never heard of electric baseball. I mean, that doesn't make any sense. Here's a combo VCR DVD player. Maybe Frank needs a backup in case his breaks down. Scavenger hunt? How about a flea market madness board game? Hmm, don't give me any ideas. This is where we're at with things. DVDs are now a quarter each. This is a smaller version remake of the classic 1986 board game, Fireball Islands. That looks great, little guys. How much? Two? Two bucks, huh? Two bucks seems like a good deal. There are a few here, and one is still even sealed. <laughs> this wishes it could be half as cool as Photon or Laser Tag. It's Schlitz, the best <laughs> cheap beer to get drunk on in the 1970s, and probably 80s and other decades. How much is this Schlitz display? Sorry to interrupt. One, 150, I'm asking. That's gorgeous. Where'd you find that? <laughs> I bought it for my dad in 2002. <laughs> Uh, because as a kid, we had a bar in the cellar. You know, oh, okay. <laughs> well, that's a throwback for sure. That's great. Yeah. Here's Jutlands. Jutlands? A World War I naval Avalon Hill game. Frank and I used to buy these out here all the time. Looks like it's taken care of. Yeah. Is that five bucks? Well, I haven't bought one of these in years. I had, my, my father had the old Gettysburg one from like the late 60s. Uh -huh. Yeah, they're just fun to play with. All right, I'm, I'm going to do it. Right. I haven't bought anything yet. Thank you. Maybe there's something else you need in there. I don't know. Not, not, not a Schlitz uh, display, but we'll, we'll see. <laughs> a bunch of NES games in. Frank's calling me? Frank never calls me first. Hello? Are you there? I'm here, Frank. You mean at the swap meet? Let's do it. Come on out. <laughs> I'm up. I'm getting ready. I'll be in here. I found uh, there's a place for four DVDs for a dollar, which you might like. I found a combo DVD VCR player. Guy said it worked, 20 bucks. Maybe you buy it as a, a backup and we'll sort of like talk them down. We can do that. Hello? No? <laughs> yes, no. I was looking at some. How much are your Nintendo games? Um, I got them at 502. Okay. Nothing special here. Volleyball. Mm. Roger Clemens. Ah, Roger. You piece of garbage. <laughs> Never gonna be in the Hall of Fame, buddy. That's a gift for throwing at Mike Piazza. Wheel of Fortune. Ran into my swap meet yeah, pal Colin, who picked, picked up some Wii and Wii U games, but just missed out on a bunch of GameCube titles. <laughs> well, you missed on GameCube, huh? That's all right. There's Nintendo Land. As long as uh, they're five each. <laughs> Sin and Punishment. Mm -hmm. You player played the original, the N64, the Japanese no. one? It's good. Maybe someone reviewed that for an upcoming certain N64 guidebook. <laughs> Hint, it was me. That one too? Yeah. Your boy got the Spider-Man. How much is the Armadillo? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> a little damage, but... <laughs> yeah, very damage, very damage. Oh. This is uh, for me, pero... <laughs> yeah, me like it. <laughs> <laughs> Some random PC and PlayStation discs. Star Wars Battlefront. Any game there's three bucks. Teacher's pet. What the hell? Rub and play Michael Jackson. All right. All right I don't want to rub and play with Michael Jackson, but that's that's a thing. How many of you guys gonna miss Pac-Man? Oh, is it marked? Yeah, it got yeah, it, 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 it got it got it's, uh, Miss Pac-Man and also other features. Gotcha. That's cool. And this is a little handheld game? Yeah, that's a Genesis. It's a Genesis. Gotcha. Yeah, that's games on okay, so, cool. The good old FC twin, one of the original NES and Super NES clones. Hot gamer chairs. You see the movie? No, I ha I want to, but I haven't seen it yet. Gotcha. Oh, Black Adam, the movie that helped put the nail in the DCEU coffin. Good morning. Hey there, good morning. How much on this little guy here? Uh, we were asking 25 for that one. 25? Bootleg NES Classic for the win! 
And a shout out to the Mighty Mugs, the alternative vinyl garbage collectibles. Speak of the devil, a bunch of new Funko Pops. Same seller has microwave ovens for sale, what? I'm fairly sure these won't end up all in a landfill in six or seven years. <laughs> That's great. Frank, hey, what a shock. Nice hat. You need a warm hat today, not that umbrella you got on your head. Oh, I don't like the sun. What's, what's, what's going on? What's going on, Frank? Well, the, the sun actually is, is still going through. Yeah, I know, but it... it... <laughs> I haven't seen you in a while. We're still dwelling in June gloom. Yep. Yeah, well, it's gray May, I think, is where we're at. I haven't seen so long out here. Yeah, well, I finally got up. Slim pickings today, but I did find an Avalon Hill game for five bucks. I bought it for you, kind of. Kind of, maybe. I heard you from the next row. I was like, where's Frank? And I heard your booming voice well, from a row was, over. Yeah, was, I'm serious. It, it's like radar. You heard, I, you heard his voice? Yeah, from yeah, like... I was, <laughs> I was sending out the signal. You're complaining so you about me. You're complaining about not finding something or something wasn't in your backpack or something no, like that? No, I went to this guy on the corner. I don't see him today. Uh -huh. He sells a lot of doo-wop and old stuff. And then he sells me a disc and it's sealed. And I say, is it in there? He goes, well, it's sealed. It's fact, I get it home. There's nothing in there bring it back he won't he thinks i'm trying to rip him off trying to scam him for a couple yeah, of bucks for a, yeah for four dollars <laughs> i go well it's not in here i said well you can have the case i don't need it he thought you're trying to like steal uh, a, a doo-wop disc yes yeah that's all wow oh yeah, uh, here you go Frank. Uh, for your blu-ray i have that on dvd or blu-ray DVD. Well, oh, this is better okay there you go frank 300 Oh, I saw that was okay. You like Zack Snyder? Oh, you don't like what you did the Batman and Superman, but you know. What was that? I don't know that one. Oh, what the, did new, you do? the newer ones. I have to admit, though, that I uh, I like Justice League. Don't. Tell oh anybody. no, Frank! You made that publicly. You like Justice League? I do. Oh, it was. Sorry. Oh, it was terrible. It was not. Oh was my really God! Fun, <laughs> fine, uh, Look at this guy. This guy's like he's crazy. <laughs> this guy's well, small. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. So you liked that, but you didn't like Infinity War. No, oh, that was horrible. That was horrible. Yeah. <laughs> this guy can't believe. It. Yeah, let's have. And uh, there wasn't enough. There wasn't enough characters in it. That's the point. It was a ten-year culmination. <laughs> yeah, Justice League has. He's laughing. Justice League has thirty characters in it. No, right? it doesn't. It has five. <laughs> It was just right. a better movie. Oh my god. Well, it, it, it's it's art. It's subjective. Okay. I did see some some boomer ones in here for you, but that was like an hour and a half ago. Some what? Boomer boomer DVDs, like old old ones. Boomer. And that's what you are, Frank. We love you for it. Oh, baby boomer, I get it. I, I, you never heard the boomer expression? No, I did. I, I wasn't sure what you meant. Where it's like okay boomer or whatever. Yeah, that's okay. <laughs> you don't mind? No, no offense taken at all, because that's what I am. Okay. Do the math. <laughs> I wish I had a voice, a good voice, too. Yeah. Frank, should you do voiceovers? I could do, like, the, uh, if, like, they need the loud voice, like the person that's a panicked in the situation. Oh, no, the meteor's co yeah, gonna, yeah, right. coming. We have to get the door open, the aliens, whatever. You know, that kind of thing. Oh, let me say, let me say the A-Team book. Let me say that. Frank found this A-Team read-along book. There's no cassette, but this piece of violent 80s children's literature is going home with me. Ninja Turtles pizza party. <laughs> nice. And this is too. Here we have some late 70s and early 1980s toys. I got this one I'm showing you an electronic game in the box. That's 40. It's 40? Yeah, brand new. That's pretty cool. It is brand new, dude. I was showing you an alarm clock. 40. And it's signed by the creator, or I forget who exactly that signature is, but he has to do with that whole. If only I knew someone who could help answer that question. Does the concept of Donnie and Marie bother anyone else besides me? Due to the popularity of Gem and the Holograms, which I'm a fan of, Mattel put out their weak ass Barbie Rockers line. Blech. Video dandruff, really? This might not be long enough. 
Frank is trying on a new belt to buy. PG-13 alert. Hell yeah. Frank, I don't, want, I don't want to see your underwear, Frank. That's... Well, sorry, don't look. You know you can just wrap it around your waist, right? You don't have to like, okay. Oh, okay. <laughs> <But it's... laughs> I didn't think of that. <laughs> you want me to do it for you? I can hold your pants up. Thank you. I'll, I'll buy for you so I don't see your underwear again. It's just about making it. Frank, should I ask how much for the walker, just in case? No. You're not there yet? <laughs> no. no, get, that's a time for cap in the head. Oh, Jesus, Frank. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, <laughs> how much for the Batman book? Ten bucks, Frank. You want it? No? You got so much crap. I was gonna get you as a gift. Are you into the Michael Jackson rub and play transfer oh, that set? Is bad. Okay. That is really bad. Okay. We're already at the point where Blu-rays are a dollar. At least these are. We've got a big section that they're not. Oh, they're more pricier? Yeah. Man, streaming's just killing everything, huh? G.I. Joe. Oh, it's not the full season. 1.1, 1 1.2. Give me a break. No, just have the whole season set. Cabbage Patch Kids Magazine? What? Hey, how about this? What the hell is this? What we got? Oh, Hitchcock. But I have a, most of these. A nice backgammon set. I heard a certain video game company ex-CEO likes to play this. I mean, he probably doesn't like it as much as lying to investors and customers for millions upon millions of dollars without releasing a product. A lot of PS2 games. Huh. Any game is free, except the sports are a dollar. That'll make a mess. That'll put them in the wrong place. We do it on purpose. Well, he's got to relax a little bit. Yes. <laughs> yeah, I go, I go, we gotta see Louise. He says, Who's Louise? I said, Not Louise. <laughs> okay, I gotta ask on principle how much the light phaser is. Oh, there's nothing else to buy out here. Ten bucks, you said? Yeah. How about eight? Deal. All right. How do you have a light phaser but no, but no other stuff for it? <laughs> Luis was nice and also threw in this epidemic PS1 gaming case for free. Okay, you gotta go, we gotta go? I gotta go, because I have to go. Okay. Okay, you get it? I get it, yes. All right. Thanks, Luis, I'll see you. That looks good on you, Frank. Do you want the Pikachu hat? Yeah, I, my favorite. In the 80s, those were all the bikes that the kids had, yeah, like girls and boys. Like those are great. <laughs> we, we, you gotta talk to him one day, Frank, for me. <laughs> stadium games? What's it called? Is it, is it Stadium Games? Close enough. <laughs> what is it called? What's the real name? Stadium Events. Stadium Events. Uh, how about if he had one called Stadium Games and it was like a different thing? <laughs> I mean, it's possible. Like Would you buy me one time? Hey, Pat, I got Stadium Games. I paid 20 bucks. I'm like, Frank, that's worthless. <laughs> you All right, Frank. See ya. See ya. <laughs> I'll get a dessert. All right, I made that pie, but you get you bring something. If Pumpkin pie? In case it's... We'll make it happen. All right, thanks, Frank. That ends another flea market madness. There wasn't much out here, but we still had a pretty good time. I want to remind everyone that A-Team was somehow a, uh, a children's book. This is crazy. 
I'll just read a long book. And then that's my favorite thing right there. Yeah, that's that's a sight. I need a, a CD player, not a D I have a DVD Blu-ray player already that's new that you got me and I paid you for that and it's fine. Oh, well, it, it plays, I play CDs as well. Just to let you know, DVD players will play a CD. Really? Yes. Why don't you tell me? Oh, I, here's what I want you to do. <laughs> oh, Jesus, what? I had TikTok show up. What? And I want to somehow, and, and every time... You, you want to start a TikTok account? No, I don't. I want to... <laughs> Get rid of it? I want to delete... Uh, the apps on TikTok. Well, that's just a search, Frank. What do you mean? You don't have the app on there. Oh, so it, it, that's not going to happen it, it, well, unless I install what do you mean? it. You're not going to be on TikTok by accident. Right. No. Okay. <laughs> well, but I can get you a TikTok account if you want. You'd be hysterical. Like people don't know not to fertilize their camellias while they're flowering. Sure. Like every other plant in the world because it pushes the buds off. Yeah, same thing.